Hello everyone, this is Rakesh here and once again welcome to my PL skill tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss the instead of trigger. In that, we are going to discuss what exactly the instead of trigger, why exactly we use the instead of trigger and at last I am going to show you the demo of the same in which I am going to write the practical program of the instead of trigger and I am going to execute the same. Okay, so this is the thing which we are going to discuss in this session. So let's begin so guys before i start our today's session and i explain the instead of trigger so let me recall what we have discussed in our previous video in which we have understood what exactly the trigger so let's understand first the what exactly the trigger and then we will understand uh, instead of trigger okay so guys what exactly the trigger trigger is nothing but it is a store program which will execute automatically at certain event so that is nothing but your instead of trigger correct so guys now let's understand this with the help of one diagram so let me draw over here one diagram so as you can see on the your screen this is my uh, whiteboard over here i have uh, drawn one uh, rectangle okay over here this is nothing but your assume my database now if i say that uh, or if i will fire any command let's say for example update command okay then uh, there is one store program will be get executed automatically and this store program is nothing but your trigger okay so over here what exactly and how exactly things will happen so this is your database outer line is the your database and in this database i am firing some command maybe let's say for example update command then upon updating uh, upon firing the update command there will be one automatic program will be get executed and that is nothing but your trigger okay so this will be the store in your database so as soon as this command will be get fired this <coughs> trigger or this store program will be get executed and whatever the logic i have written over here in this uh, trigger that will be get executed and that is nothing but your this is one output okay so that is nothing but your trigger so i hope you have understood trigger now let's understand what exactly the instead of trigger so in a similar way instead of trigger is nothing but it is a again a store program which will execute automatically at the dml activity on my view so that is nothing but your instead of program so let's understand this with the help of one example so for that i need to go to the my sql developer so let's say for example uh, i have created one view over here you can see over here i have created one view now if i will uh, fire any uh, update statement or delete statement or insert statement or i can say that any dml statement if i will fire on this view then there should be automatic one program should get executed which is nothing but this one okay so how i can achieve i can achieve this with the help of instead of trigger so uh, now you can question that uh, same functionality is being achieved in the uh, dml trigger also so guys i just would like to remind you that dml trigger is applicable only for the table and instead of trigger is applicable for the view i hope you have understood what exactly the instead of trigger so let me summarize what exactly i have said instead of trigger is nothing but it is a store program which will execute automatically at the dml activity on my view not on my table so that is nothing but your instead of trigger now second question comes in your mind why exactly we required the uh, instead of trigger why uh, dml trigger is not able to update it so guys <coughs> there are couple of reason for that so let me list down over here so that i have already list down so in case of i have if i have the view uh, offset or if i have aggregation function or if i have group by connect by start with or distinct or join in such a case i cannot perform directly dml operation on my view correct uh, that is <coughs> that is what the constraint of the view correct so that is uh, the reason we have to write the instead of trigger and in that instead of trigger what we will do whatever you wanted to achieve that you can write the logic in that so that we under going to understand in a moment okay so for the time being you just understand uh, <coughs> if we have a such a kind of view in which 
we have either join either group by connect by or uh, any set operation or union operation uh, this kind of uh, view is present then i cannot perform the uh, any dml activity on that view then alternative is nothing but your instead of trigger so that is the reason we have to write the instead of trigger i hope you have understood now why exactly we require the instead of trigger okay guys so <coughs> let's write the instead of trigger uh, but before that we have to understand the syntax of the instead of trigger so let's understand the syntax of the instead of trigger So guys, as you can see on the your screen, this is syntax of the instead of trigger. So this is same as usual the previous uh, triggers. Okay, guys. So let's understand what exactly this syntax is. So as you can see on the your screen, I have written over here first line create or replace and then trigger and then trigger name. Okay. So what exactly the uh, over here create means? Create means. Uh, let me change the my paint color over here okay so let me take the pink color okay so that it will be good so over here create means create the trigger uh, this is your r keyword okay replace again as a keyword a replace means if is there any trigger exists with the same name then please replace uh, this trigger with this body okay so that is nothing but your replace keyword okay after that what i need to mention over here i need to mention over here the trigger keyword it indicates that whatever the program i am writing over here this is whatever the program i am writing over here this is nothing but your trigger okay guys so i hope you, this is clear for you and after that you need to mention over here trigger name trigger name can be anything x y z a b c d whatever you wanted to write that you can write it over here okay after that there is one uh, very important keyword you need to write over here in order to write the instead of trigger so that is nothing but your instead of trigger so over here it says that uh, this is the instead of trigger and this is applicable for the view only okay uh, <coughs> and after that you have to mention over here operation in what all the cases this trigger will be get executed so over here you can mention all three operation uh, delete insert update all three dml statement or either you can mention only one also so it depends upon the your requirement to requirement so uh, that you have to mention over here okay after that uh, you need to mention over here on on is a key a keyword and then after that you need to mention the keyword uh, view name okay on we on which view this will be applicable or in other words what i can say that if i will fire the dml statement on any particular view then only then this should be get executed so that view name i will mention over here okay so that is nothing but here this line now after that uh, i have mentioned over here for each for each row means it will be get executed if any of the uh, row will be get affected by the dml activity so in that case uh, for each row will be uh, get used and for that reason we have to mention over here for each row if i do not mention over here for each row then the uh, trigger will be get executed only once okay uh, for the entire session so that is nothing but your for each row and after that i have mentioned as usual over here you can see declare uh, in the declare section i have we can mention a, a declaration of the variable and in the over here begin and end section you can mention the logic what you wanted to achieve upon triggering any dml activity so guys i hope we, it is clear for you this syntax is clear for you so now let's write the uh, uh, program and let's execute that program okay guys so for that i need to go to the my sql developer so guys before i start my writing my instead of trigger let's decide the first objective what exactly we wanted to achieve so guys what exactly we wanted to achieve so i wanted to achieve if i will perform or anybody perform uh, uh, insert statement on this uh, view then i wanted to have record in this table and in this table employee table and the uh, department table and what value should go so value should go from uh, this record only 
okay so let me repeat what exactly i wanted to achieve if i will fire the insert statement on my this view then i wanted to have the new value or new record over here with this information okay so let's say for example over here i have provided the uh, employee id salary then employee id and salary should come and whatever the information is not present that should come as a dummy so that is what i wanted to achieve over here okay so i hope the objective is clear for you now let's write the <coughs> instead of trigger so in order to write the instead of trigger what is the very first thing we need to do we need to write the create or replace trigger and then trigger name okay so let's write over here the very first line which is nothing but your create or replace trigger okay and then trigger name trigger name what you wanted to uh, mention uh, let let me copy over here this is the name i wanted to use okay after that after that what you exactly you need to mention over here you need to mention the instead of keyword okay why because i am writing over here for the uh, view okay so that is the reason we have to mention over here instead of instead of after that what exactly you need to mention you need to mention the uh, operation in which cases i wanted to execute so in my case i wanted to get execute in case of the only insert statement correct so the, that is the only requirement in other uh, dml statement i do not want although you can mention over here like delete and then over here you can mention update so it will be get triggered in all the cases okay but over here for my requirement i needed only insert statement so that is the reason i mention only insert statement over here after that i need to mention the table name uh, sorry view name over here so what is the view name i have created over here i have created over here this view correct so let me mention over here on on this view okay after that what i need to do i need to mention the for each okay for each i need to mention so let me mention over here for each row okay this is i have uh, written and i think i am done with the uh, writing of uh, instead of trigger after that simply i need to write over here declare begin and end okay so let me write over here declare and then begin and then end okay now over here uh, whatever the variable you need needed or required in order to write the your logic that you can mention over here okay so maybe let's say for example i wanted to have uh, a variable with number okay then i can mention over here like this okay now inside the begin and end what i need to do i need to write the logic what i wanted to achieve upon triggering this uh, insert statement so what i wanted to achieve i wanted to achieve uh, is nothing but i wanted to have the row inside this and this okay so for that what i need to write over here insert a statement for the my department table and the employee table so that i need to mention over here okay so that i will mention over here and i will simply copy uh, copy paste from my existing uh, trigger which i have written so what i will do i will simply over here copy paste okay from my existing trigger because i do not want to want to waste uh, time over here uh, writing all these things okay so i am done over here so what exactly i have done i have created one case over here uh, so whenever insert operation is happening then please insert the row into the department table and uh, over here you can see uh, i have mentioned new dot department id so new dot department id will be get replaced whatever uh, the department i am providing over here so this is nothing but your department okay so let's say for example 11 department i am providing so department id will be get replaced with the 11 and uh, in a similar way department name so department name over here yeah department department name is also provided this is the department name so the department name will be get provided location is also i'm providing over here location is also providing for uh, department i do not need to put any dummy value but for the 
employee uh, as you can see over here employee name is not present in my insert statement so that is the reason i have to provide over here uh, dummy value as a uh, it depends upon the, your logic okay just i am providing and just uh, for the sake of uh, explanation i have taken over here uh, dummy value so that you will understand uh, over here employee id is present so you can see over here employee id is present so i have taken from the new state in a, in a similar way rest of the field is get filled okay guys so i hope you have understood now let me compile over here uh, and i hope this will be get compiled so you can see over here uh, this got compiled and now same thing you can see in the all underscore trigger table or over here somewhere in the side okay so let me compile over here uh, refresh sorry so you can see over here this got came over here in the left uh, bar of or i can say the left menu of the your sql developer so same i have triggered over here or same i have compiled over here okay now uh, this is compiled now it's time to demo okay so what i will do i will fire this command and i will uh, i can expect the row inside uh, department table and the employee table okay so you can see over here so you can see over here there is no row with the department id 11 okay i hope you have seen now now let me fire and i hope this will be get executed successfully okay so let me so you can see over here insert statement got executed properly now i can expect the row into this table you can see over here department table having the whatever the values i have provided over here okay you can see over 11 and daily and it department okay and in the employee table let's see uh, yes let me take the one row only so that you will clearly understand uh, where employee id uh, uh, let's uh, yeah employee id is equal to one two three okay so that you will clearly understand you can see over here uh, so whatever the values are uh, provided in the insert statement i have taken that uh, values and rest i have filled as a dummy dummy so this is how you can achieve and this is how you need to write the instead of trigger so guys i hope you have understood what exactly and how exactly you need to write the instead of trigger so guys that's all for the day and thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care